whether a solid, a surface, or a mesh, pretty much all 3D objects have the same basic parts. A solid is named that because it's solid all the way through. If you were to slice it, it would have an inside. On the outside of the solid, we have faces. Faces are joined to each other with edges, and edges are joined to each other through vertices. Sometimes you need to select two or more edges, and then it's called a chain. There is no special term for selecting two or more faces or two or more vertices. When a body is simple, like a box or a sphere, then we call it a primitive. When a solid is more complex because it has things in it like holes or has been chamfered, then we call it a body. When there are two or more bodies in a drawing, then we tend to call them parts. Two or more parts put together are called an assembly because the parts have been assembled together. When a 3D solid has been hollowed out but uh, still has solid walls, then it's called a shell. But when it's completely flat, except for some bends, then it's called sheet metal. Curves and spheres of 3D solids are a special case because they have no faces. And so we can turn on artificial faces called isolines. These help us more easily visualize the surface of a solid sphere. Getting more technical about it, what BricsCAD actually displays is not a solid model, but a representation. We only see the outside of the solid model. In mathematics, this is called a boundary representation, or BREP for short. If we want to create a 3D model from 2D entities, those 2D entities, like this circle, are called sketches. And then when we extend them into three-dimensional space by giving them a Z direction, that's called extruding. When you see just the lines of a solid model, it could be a wireframe or a wireframe representation. Both terms are used. If it's a wireframe, then what it looks like a 3D model is just made with straight lines and circles and arcs. If it's a wireframe representation, then that's just the way the BricsCAD system is displaying it, and there's still a solid model. A wireframe has no faces, just vertices and edges. A surface can look an awful lot like a 3D solid, but it isn't. It's hollow. It has no inside. Its uh, shell, if you will, is infinitely thin. But it also has faces, edges, and vertices. If you were to cut into a surface, you would see that it's hollow, not solid. Surfaces are more commonly used with 3D software designed to create games and movies. They sometimes appear in BricsCAD. For example, if you try to create a 3D model that isn't entirely enclosed, then BricsCAD will turn it into a surface. Some commands like extrude give you the option whether you want to extrude to a solid or to a surface. The final version of a 3D model is called a polyface mesh. These are often imported from 3D laser scanning software or from gaming software or imported from other CAD systems. The mesh is made up of triangles and in this imported JT file you can see the many triangles that make up the surface. They look solid but they're made from meshes. Mm -hmm.